Hey everybody, welcome back to today's vlog. We're gonna be talking about all of these items being made today. So let's get started in today's video. Okay, today is Wednesday the the something, the 12th or the 13th? I think it's the 12th. Anyway, I'm gonna be doing more work for the shop. And so I went into my fabric bin, which I have a lot, and I pulled out all of my patriotic stuff. And I've been doing a lot of farmhousey and primitive type things, which all of this applies to. And I thought, you know what? I have like at least a half yard or no, maybe, let's see. Let's just measure it, why not? Yeah, I have more than a half yard of each of these fabrics. And so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make these into pillows and they're more modern and bright and they might be more catchy and I don't know when I'm gonna use them. So I'm gonna go ahead and make these into stuff for the shop. And I mean, they're really cute. I got them from Walmart last year and I think they came out with this same line this year. Really, really cute, but I don't see me using it for my personal self. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of my stash and into the shop. So let's get started. Good morning. <laughs> Today is Friday the 14th of May, and it is also the first day of summer vacation. So I let Fiona, my oldest, stay up as long as she wanted and having an easy morning, but now the morning's kinda going. But I stitched some of this. I'm using muslin with uh, warm and natural batting behind it and I've done the crow and I've done the stars and the vines and now I just have to do the pumpkin, which I thought would be faster than it is. It's actually bigger than I thought, you know. And um, today I'd like to get this stitched. But if I just sit down and stitch a little bit at a time, I should be able to get it done today. Um, let's see. This pattern is uh, Harvest Crow and is by Chestnut Junction and it's part of one of her um, embroidery packs. She used to sell her patterns um, individually and now she changed it to embroidery packs. So I got, I think, nine embroidery packs for $9.99, which was great. Um, I am using some beeswax from Robot So Mo Robot Sews Mom or something like that on Instagram. Oh yeah, Robot Mom Sews. So sorry. And I love this. Star Wars edition made by Ewoks to make your hand sewing an out of the world experience. And this is in the scent Baby Yoda and I love it. And I'm using um, some of the called for DMCs and then other ones I'm just substituting. I'm using size five um, needles, where is it? I got this pack of DMC embroidery needles from Walmart. I am also using, oh, it's stuck together. These ginger scissors, which believe it or not, I actually got from Ross for $3.99. They had two packs of these ginger scissors in the hair and nail section. And so I bought um, myself a pack and my husband uses one for hair and I use mine for her. And this embroidery kit that I've made, this is my needle minder. It's from Beetlejuice. But I don't actually, sometimes I'll put it up here, but right now because everything is so um, big, I just keep it right here. And I also got this bin from Walmart. At our local Walmart, they still have this on like the end of the aisles, but you can get this for $4.97. And I thought, oh, I'm just going to go ahead and buy it. So I have all of my patterns that I'm going to be working on my floss. So that way I can just pull from these flosses and then the whole set will um, coordinate because I'm going to be working through the embroidery pack that I bought. And I'm just having a really nice morning. Also, if you're interested, I got this candy dish from a local thrift store. And I've just been using it as my orts bowl. And so I'll just put it like this and usually it sits right here. Having my coffee, which is all drink now. 
And I got this for $4 from the same place that my booth is at, at uh, the Rusty Cabin. I supported one of the other vendors there. I think it's really cute. So anyway, so this is what I've been up to this morning. Again, I'm just going to be working on this throughout the day. And my goal is to have it fully finished or finished today, not fully finished, but a really easy morning. The sunlight's beautiful. I'm going to go let out the chickens and we're going to have a really nice day today. It's supposed to be beautiful weather and have some fun with the girls and do some more projects throughout the day. My husband comes home Sunday morning, so I'm going to try to do as much as I can before then. Anyway, on to the next thing. I just got an order. Well, I got an order for this beautiful bag. It's one of my boxed bottom bags. And let me show you. It has teal on the inside. This is so cute. This is a one of a... This is a one of a kind bag because I was only able to get half yard of it or like a fat quarter. And I put my tags that I made on here and it says handmade by BriannaLentz.com. Thank you for supporting my small business. I'm gonna go ahead and get this popped into a mailer. If you guys didn't know, I have an Etsy store. It's Brianna Lent shop on Etsy. I'll go ahead and link down below. And you know, you can have a booth, you can have a consign stuff that you sell at consignment, you can have an online selling business, you guys, you can do it all if you want to. You can do all of the things. <laughs> and you can have things relate to each other. Like the tags that I made for my booth, I'm definitely gonna be using on my Etsy Etsy shop business as well, because at the end of the day, I'm always trying to promote BriannaLens.com because everything is mixed together. This is my Mother's Day card. <laughs> um, but everything's mixed together. Like I'm documenting what I'm doing for the booth, but I'm also documenting, you know, what I'm going to be doing for my Etsy store because there's going to be a lot of things that I'm going to be uploading to Etsy as well. And I'm having a ton of fun. So how fun is this that one of my bags is getting shipped to Brush, Colorado? Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I finished my pillows um, that I was working on and I will share those in a minute, but I had to go to Walmart, which is my lowest, which is my lowest, which is my nearest craft store. And all they had were the $3 and 47 cent packages of polyfill because I went through my huge bag that I had. Hey, Josie, can you stop doing that for a sec? Thank you. Just for another minute. Okay. Um, anyway, but I picked up a few other things. I got one of the, uh, magnets pin magnets i've had these before um but i was using one of my needle minders and i decided to go ahead for three dollars uh pick up another one of these i have another one in purple and i really like these if you can find these i highly recommend them for three dollars i was using my uh, regular fabric ruler to cut my um, poster board with the glue on it and stuff like that and I didn't really like not having another large ruler so for nine dollars I picked up another acrylic ruler um to have to go in between while I'm doing multiple things and then I have needed another one of these for like a year <laughs> and I just decided to go with the one they had at Walmart I looked at the Cricut one and I decided I liked that this had gritting all the way down so for twenty dollars I picked this one up they're, I mean, they're expensive no matter what. And I didn't really want to get a, a huge guillotine. So I'm happy with this and I'm about to use it on my Etsy order. I just shared that I had an Etsy order and um, that I'm sending out that bag. And so I'm actually going to cut out my shipping label with this. But I also got um, a two pack of tea towels. These were $3.97. And what I like about these is that they're substantial and they're already hemmed and they have a loop. So I'm going to be embroidering on these soon. And then what else did I get? Oh, I got these pins for decoration. Um, I thought these would look really cool with the pillows that I'm making as a decoration with the buttons. Like I did on my honey pillow. If you saw my last video, I'll link down to that below. Or you can watch it by clicking up here. And then I also got some more buttons. And I got wooden buttons because I thought that this would look really nice with my tags. And so I thought I would experiment with this. Um, and I think, I think that was it. I got the two bags of this. I got the magnet and this, I think maybe I got something else. Oh, I did. I got a two pack of the Fiskars. Um, sorry. 
I already replaced my blade. I have never replaced this blade. And when I was cutting through fabric yesterday, it was just snagging way more than it should have. And you probably saw that in the video. Again, I'll link that down below in my vlog. So um, you could buy one package of uh, Fisker's 60 millimeter rotary color blade replacement for $6.97, or you could get a two pack for $9.97. Better value to buy two. So I'm just going to keep this in my stash exactly like this so I know exactly what it is. And again, I have the safety on. And it was really easy to replace. You just have to unscrew this, take the top off and carefully remove the blade, pop the blade on, push this in and screw it tight. Like that was it. So anyway, so I decided to just pull the trigger on some of these things and go ahead and buy it. So for less than $50, I got a pretty good haul on craft supplies that I'm ready to use right now for all the things that I want to get in my shop because I'm about to kind of go on this whole brigade, I don't know, what would you call it? Like this spree of making fall things and I've got Christmas things and I want to go ahead and get a lot of these things made now instead of waiting for fall and Christmas. So I'm going to heavily use these things. And if your lo most local shop is Walmart, it's not a bad place. But if you can go somewhere else, why not? But I mean, they're comparable. No shame. No shame. I love Walmart. Anyway, so I thought I would share with you again. I've got my bag ready to go. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut my fabric, my, um, my uh, label, my post label and get that glued on or taped on and then we're ready to go to the mailbox and move on with the next things and get back to the booth. So I'll see you in the next clip. Today is Friday still. I recorded some of me doing embroidery earlier and I wanted to share the pillows that I made. Um, I have a honeycomb pillow 16 by 16 inch. I'm going to be taking this into the rusty cabin today and I finished this one off with the, what's the top of it? Here it is. I finished um, this one off with the whip stitch and I have it with my handmade tag and it says honeycomb pillow 16 by 16 inch and I have this one for $14. Then I have two patriotic pillows that I'm going to be taking today. Um, I've had this fabric for a long time like I said and this one, I love this one. This one is 16, uh, 16 high by 20 long and again I have it uh, labeled and this one is 16 by 20 patriotic pinwheel pillow and I have this one for $16 and I stuffed this with polyfill. Lastly is my probably my favorite one. This one's hard to give away or to sell but hopefully it does sell. This one is my patriotic lobster pillow. It's a 20 by 20 inch pillow. I have this one uh, marked at for $20 and again um, I'm using those new things I bought from Walmart which I think are really really cute. And I gave this one a lot longer tag because it's a bigger pillow. So I love this one. I think it's a really, really nice pillow. So I'm going to be heading over to the rusty cabin and bringing those items in because it is Friday. And so I'd like to get these in if people are trying to get some things for Memorial Day through uh, for the July. I think these would be perfect to have in their home. So I will see you guys in the next thing. Mow the lawn. We're gonna have like a week of rain, so it had to get mowed. So mama did that. Doesn't it look so pretty? Yes, it does. And I did it all by myself. Okay, back to work. The bed. Just a minute. And... No, hold on. Oh, mom, I did to get this fight out. Oh, that's, I've had that for a long time. It's okay. My wife got this one. Okay, right here. So you can get me knitting. Can you do that? Yeah. Where am I at? Can you see me? Hold it right there, okay? There. Don't move. Can they see me? Yep. Yeah. My daddy. Stop moving. You're doing a good job. Keep going. Stay right there you are. 
Lay on the bed. So for this hat, I'm knitting, I think it's called the Piece of Cake Hat by, what is her name? Susan B. Anderson. And you knit the brim for four inches, which I have done. And now I have to switch over to larger size needles and then knit for five inches and then start my decreases. This is the second hat that I've made using that pattern. And this is uh, Knit Picks acrylic yarn. They're speckled Brava, it's brand new. And I'm liking it so far. I like the speckles a lot. So I'm looking forward to going ahead and moving on to bigger needles and then I can go ahead and transfer, um, or not transfer, but start a third color way with the smaller needles. And then that way when I finish this hat, I can go ahead and move on to this, the next one. It's been so nice knitting outside before we have that week of thunderstorms. My kids are just, I don't know where my other one is. She's around here somewhere. But there's Jules. Such a pretty night. Hi Daisy. Daisy girl. This is the last real segment of my video. It is Tuesday, May 18th, and I have spent the last week making a lot of things, and I just finished making my bags, which you just watched me make. Um, and tomorrow, hopefully if all goes well, we'll be making the trip to Savannah and putting our things in the shop and the booth, booth 29 at the Rusty Cabin in Savannah, Oklahoma, um, if all goes well. So uh, I'm going to film this and then I'm going to tag everything, take you with me to the booth, probably record my intro, and then that's going to be my vlog for the week, which is really fun and exciting. So let me show you what I made. Um, I, a couple days ago, okay, let's start, let's start off with this. I already had this bag made and I was going to put it in my Etsy shop and I'm just going to go ahead and I think put it in the booth. If I don't put it in the booth, then I'm going to put this up on Etsy. Um, just because it doesn't really go 100% with my aesthetic in the booth right now. So I might just put this up on Etsy. If you like this um, and you hit the link down below to my Etsy store and it's not there, just go ahead and message me or leave a comment and I have more of this fabric and I can make you one. I'm going to be pricing these. Um, well, we'll see. <laughs> Let's see. Um, 
Then the, the first bag that I made this week was actually this bag. Uh, I love this fabric. It's these, yeah, they're all hens. I believe they're all hens. And then there's some roosters. So there's some hens and there's some roosters and it's really, really pretty. Um, and I made it with a black zipper and this black and uh, tan polka dot fabric inside. How cute is that? I love this bag. I think this is really, really cute. And these are all made with my handles and they have uh, boxed bottoms. And I go through that effort that you see in my video to ensure that my bottoms will match. I, it drives me nuts when my corners don't match. So I go through the effort to cut everything out and then sew it individually to ensure that it's as nice and as professional looking as possible. And it's a nice big back. Oh, excuse me. We're back. So anyway, so I made this bag first and um, I had cut out the lining fabric and I made a mistake. So I decided to go ahead and just make a pillow out of the lining fabric that I had made a mistake with and continue on with making the back. So I uh, created this pillow. This is a 12 by 12 pillow and I used one of my embroidery transfers. I stitched it on and then I whip stitched the bottom. And I really, really like this. So somebody could come and if they wanted to give this as a gift, it would be a coordinating gift. And I think it's really cute. Love, love, love this. So that's going in. And uh, finally, we have my three bags that you saw me make. Now you saw some magenta and fuchsia floral fabric that I originally was going to make a bag with. And I was going to put um, like an aqua mint lining inside of it. And I decided I didn't like that. Um, and I didn't have any uh, other fabric that matched for the lining, so I decided to just wait. And I might just wait and make it into a pillow. I haven't decided yet. So I thought I was going to make something with that fabric, and it, it it's on hold. But I did make these, which I think are so, so pretty. I actually have um, this fabric I made uh, pillowcases with in my room. And it has a vanilla zipper and vanilla lining and again these are all box bottoms so it has a four inches on the bottom box bottom with the handle these are so handy you can use these for a diaper bag cosmetics bag toy bag I use them as project bags I have these in my car for my kids toys books whatever um, this one is a vintage newsprint and it has vanilla lining and a vanilla zipper super cute. I love this one. I mean, I love all of them. And then this one is kind of like a decoupage fabric. And I think it's so pretty. And it was hard for me to decide how I wanted the fabric to sit, but I ultimately decided that it made the most sense to have the words and numbers go vertically on both sides. And that's how I ended up doing what I did. I put a light gray a zipper on top and then I did a mint green on the inside to bring out the little bits of blue and green on the outside and some of us like pops of color and I thought that was really nice to have something with a pop of color in it um so I really really like these a lot so these are all going into my shop I'm going to have them hanging right now I have kids aprons hanging that I've been there for uh, quite a few months and I haven't sold them yet, so I think I'm going to take those down and reposition them and then hang my bags up by, you know, maybe, well, we'll see in the video, um, in the upcoming clip, how I decide to do it. So I think I did a great week of making things. I made the patriotic pillows at the beginning of the week. Then I made the pillow and the kitchen, uh, the kitchen and the chicken bag. And then I made these three uh, bags yesterday and today. Um, so I'm really happy with what I was able to accomplish this week. I hope that you guys enjoyed, uh, hanging out with me. I am almost done knitting that hat you saw me knit earlier this week. I haven't finished my embroidery. I haven't had any time to stitch. Um, basically if I've had free time, I've been putting it towards other things and a lot of family time. So we'll, we'll see what I get done tonight and what projects I decide to work on next week. I have an idea of what I want to make, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, 
So anyway, again, let's go to Savannah and see the rusty cabin. Okay, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the process of me making these videos and other things that I made this week. It is raining cats and dogs outside. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you have a great week, and I will see you next Friday. Bye.